guys, it's Anna Magus of Crafts here, and I've been inspired by Ransom Riggs, the author of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, to start collecting my own peculiar photos. So here they are. So I actually got all these creepy photos in Sedona, where I go camping there. This one is just an old creepy shack, and it's like a double exposure. I don't know, it looks like an accident, and it's just pretty cool. There were some creepy people in the background, and I just thought that was cool. This one is clearly damaged by water. It was still pretty awesome. I got these at the same thrift store. Um, it was a real picture someone took. It was not tampered with, but if you look there really closely, it's kind of hard to see over camera. The eyes are white, and so I was just thinking it was a white, maybe. So that was kind of cool and creepy at the same time. And also, I mean, that vein in his forehead just look at the vein so there was also some water damage on the back and I just thought it looked pretty cool just brown spots and everything this was one of the more interesting photos it's a picture of some sort of like church or cathedral with like ivy crawling up the old bricks and it's sunken into the ground if you look really closely there it like dips into the ground and you can see people walking up out of it and I just thought that was really cool I have no idea where in the world this was but I just thought that was awesome this one, just look at their faces. They look so scared of something. And I know back then people didn't really like to smile for photos, but still, they, they're they looking pretty freaked out right now. Also, I don't know what they're sitting on. It looks like half of a cattle, but I can't tell. This is the last one, the most disturbing one of the ones that I found. So at the end of Miss Peregrine's Home for P Peculiar Children, uh, they find out that the other peculiars are probably being held by a place with that type of fence. And I just came across this photo. It's the exact same fence. The mountains in the background, kind of rusty, old, falling down fence. So I just, that was pretty awesome because I'm a fan of almost all books. And when I can find something in real life that's in a fictional book, I kind of go nuts. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I mean, just look at that resemblance. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Hey guys, so this is just a once-over of all of the pictures. If you missed anything or just want to look at them again, I'm actually going to Catalina soon, so if you want me to video anything there, leave it down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it if you've subscribed, if you haven't already, and have a great day!